All right, all right. So this should be a very quick update and the market is still open. So things could move a bit before the market closes. But right now we're having a very exciting day of going absolutely nowhere. And tomorrow we will get the CPI data. And today we did get the PPI data. And right now the market is just consolidating above support. So I'm going to give you very clear levels to watch, levels to stay bullish above and levels to get risk off if we break below. And then of course the price targets to the upside. So on SPY, I think it's as simple as staying bull while we're above 519, which means above 519, we're looking for 520 and then above 525 we'll be looking for 534 and if we break below 519 get risk off because we're likely going down towards 512 to 513. On the Nasdaq 100 triple Qs, we're currently sitting right above this resistance breakout, which is now support at 442. So stay bull above 442 for the price targets at 448 and 453. And if we break below 442, get risk off for the price targets between 434 and 436. On the Dow Jones, we're currently trading right around 394 and we're sitting right there at the price target at 395. And in the Dow Jones, I think you should be bullish above 391 for the price targets at 398 and 400. And if we break below 391, get risk off for the retest of the breakout at 385 and the gap fell at 383. On the Russell 2000 IWM ETF, we hit 207 today, which is the price target of resistance, and we're currently seeing selling from that level, but as long as we can hold above 203 and break above 207, we'll likely go to 210 and then 214. And if we break down below 203, get risk off for the gap fill and support zone right around 200. On the RK ETF, we're currently up 2.45% today. We did fill the gap above 45.5, and we do have this resistance right here, right around 45.8. So do not get bullish unless we can break above that resistance and the previous high at 46.5. If you want to stay bull, even though we have not yet broken the resistance, then you can stay bullish as long as we're above 44 and get risk off if we break down below 44. On the VIX, we're currently trading right around 13.6 and the VIX is just sitting around here just like the market and consolidating and it does look like the VIX is likely going to crush back down towards 12.8, which is going to favor the bulls. But if at any point we see fear coming into the market, we're going to see the VIX spiking above 15. On Bitcoin, we're currently trading just above 61,000 and this is a very important support because if we break down below 61,000, it's possible we go back into the bearish scenario towards 52,000 and the bullish scenario, we need to break above 65,000 and then I think we're well on our way back higher towards the previous all time high and new price targets up here at 75,000. On Nvidia stock, we're currently up about 0.4% trading above 907 and we're above all the moving averages with the bull trend and I still think we're going to hit that brand new all time high price target between 994 and 1032 before earnings. So stay bull as long as we're above 877 and then you could get risk off if we break down below it. Below 877, we'll be looking for 857 to 862. On Tesla stock, we're currently up 2.7% today and we did hit the price target at 177 and now as long as we can hold this bull breakout and hold above 173, we should be well on our way towards 207 and the next bull breakout will be above 185. Get risk off if we break down below 167 because it means we're likely still in a downtrend and going lower. On Apple stock, we're currently up 0.26% today and we are trying to get this bull breakout above 186 to 187 and I still think we're going higher towards my price targets at 190 and 195 so stay bull above 186 and then if we break below 186, we're looking to stay bull above 181. So jumping back over to the S&P 500, this is a very boring flat day but there's still a lot of individual names that are trading higher that we're still capturing the profits on in the discord server and tomorrow with the cpi data we should finally break out of this range and get that leg higher that i'm expecting towards brand new all-time high price targets if we don't then we have a very clear risk off level which i gave you on every single thing that we went over today so just get risk off if we break down below support and stay bullish while we're above it if you want access to all of my intraday updates and technical analysis as well as my trade ideas that's going to be in the stock shell discord server and you can find out how to join my discord server by clicking on the link in the description of this video so thank you for watching everybody i I hope you're crushing this market and as always i will see you in the next episode